In this video, we're gonna cover stoves. Now, I've had this one since 1984, the iconic Coleman Green Stove. You either have one, you've owned one, or you want one, or maybe you've just cooked on one. But in this video, we're gonna take the time to show you what our Overland buddies, Brian and John, use when they're off-grid camping. So stay tuned, let's check those out at the end of the video. Take a moment and just basically share my thoughts. I love my Coleman, I'm gonna keep using it, but it is kind of big and bulky. These other ones, and it depends on what you're cooking, and what you wanna eat. Who doesn't love to eat? With that being said, our good friend Rich, we're gonna include some of the tours that we did of his little tent truck uh, setup. And in that video, he's got like three or four, I don't know, it's just crazy how many different stoves he brought. And then also a separate video for the Afghan pressure cooker. Now that's absolutely amazing. So be sure to check out those video links at the end. Thanks for checking this out. Let's get started. So tell me a little bit about what you have going on here. What what is that? What is this stove set up? This is called a Tembo Tusk Scottle. And is there different models of it? Uh, there's one pan, this. Okay. There's a uh, version with uh, one length legs, like a fixed leg. And this is the newest, latest, and greatest with the adjustable legs. So it condenses oh. down into a very small package. Which is very nice. And is it fairly simple to clean? Yeah, you clean it just like you do cast iron. So you really just uh, throw in a little water, heat it up, cook it, wipe it down, put it away. Done. That's the beauty of it. It's very simple to uh, very simple to keep going. And the nice thing is, if you're used to using a wok, you know with a wok you can push stuff up off to the side, and it's still it's still hot up here, but it's not as hot. So then you continue to cook in the center a different item, and then you can mix it as needed. And then the fuel source is that. That's the, uh, so this one is a, a, a propane butane mix, because I'm using the new, uh, it's a Covia gas stove. So there's different stoves you can use too. So you can use propane. You just get a little bit higher with that setup? This with the butane, yeah, I can use that at higher elevations is better. Oh. But then there's the uh, propane. Right. Adapter, so the same stove could be used for butane, propane mix, which you use with your, uh, what's the favorite stove everybody likes to use these days? Coleman's oh, yeah. been tried and true, but I don't know. <laughs> now a little backpacker stove. Um, the feather? Feather, they use butane, propane mix, yeah, or you can use straight propane, then normally I have an 11 pound tank on top. Is that uh, fairly this setup pretty easy to find along the road and traveling oh yeah and like you had said obviously higher elevations that's probably where it's key yeah for the different stove for the different fuel types they perform better at, they say i haven't really had many problems with uh most of these uh so just what a great setup it's uh it's clean and easy it's clean and easy. So, all right, so what are we cooking over here, Brian? Uh, we are doing some, uh, some spaghetti. Spaghetti? Well, I got some, uh, let's see, what are these called? Oh. Some sauce. And then in here we have some uh, asparagus and some, some mushrooms. And then we'll do the, uh, the turkey meatballs and add up that all together. Nice. Get your two burners going there. You only live once. That's an awesome setup. Two little aluminum tables, your box with all your goodies in it, water, paper towel, you got a little bamboo mat down there. Yep. And then the most important part, these things are cool, I got these, these are fairly new. 
So these are just stainless steel and they're labeled with all your seasonings. So you have some hot sauces, some pepper, hot shot. Um, I just find this is easier to, instead of keeping a bunch of spices in different bottles, kind of all in one together. Um, and then this one here is also, get this open. This also has your pan, which is a pretty important non-stick, and then you've got your your hot sauces, <laughs> all hot sauce. Good stuff. Everything tastes better with hot sauce. Is that how it works? I don't know. You get the mule mule sauce. I thought it was just Old Bay seasoning. If you're from Maryland, and I do have I have Old Bay <laughs> in there for sure. I do a lot of steamed shrimp. It's really good. And your uh, cooktop there. You even showed this that before in your video. What that that's like one whole kit. Can you just uh, what's the name of that again? Yeah, it's a jet boil. Jet boil. So it all packs down into this. That's Everything folds up. Um, there's one other um, additional burner you can get that's actually for like coffee. Right. So it's kind of like a smaller one of this, but basically everything runs into this and all packs down into a small little pot. That's great. Um, so you get you get two pots, and then the, the two, I guess the two stairs all fold up into each other. I should stop back at what time for dinner? Uh, dinner would be served at six fifteen sharp. <laughs> so I wanted to take a moment in closing and go over a couple thoughts on the different types of stone and give you guys some more information. Now I'll put a lot of the information on each of those stoves that we've seen in the description below, so you can see all the specs and stuff like that. Now, just a couple, I'll share some of my thoughts, but I want to share some of um, Brian, who uses the uh, jet boil. He's actually going back to a Coleman-style stove for his applications. He, he chose to do that because it actually gets a little hotter. It's about 20,000 uh, BTUs versus the jet boil and the Timbo Tusk, which are about 10,000. And he also likes the ability to be able to control the temperatures. You also do have the wind blocks that are already built in on the traditional Coleman. You know, it's really neat with these Coleman's. They start around 75 bucks and go up depending on what style you like and are using. Coleman's been around for a while and it just gets back to what your budget is. And we'll talk about that shortly. Uh, the other thing that Brian also uses is a Coleman oven, which is really cool. They're like 45 bucks. We saw him using one. We got turned on to it. They're great for like cooking leftovers or like a small little pizza or just, just like, it's just a nice little oven. Use it right on top of a traditional propane style stove, uh, which is really amazing. And, you know, the last thing for Brian was the Coleman just happened to fit in one specific spot in his rig. And we'll be sure to put his uh, tour at the end along with John's uh, rig at the end so you can check out those videos. So with that being said on the jet boil, the, you know, it's nice that everything is all in one. You can just grab and go, which is, I think, really convenient. You have all your pots, pans, pretty much like everything right there. So you just, one, one thing, you just take it and you go where you need to. It does have a plastic um, windshield or wind protector, which... Uh, Brian said it's not the most, you know, convenient thing to set up. So, you know, there might be some limitations there, but once again, it just gets back to your needs specifically. Same thing, I guess, could be said about the uh, Tim Timbo Tusk. Uh, I think there is some kind of wind block, but for the most part, you got to be in a really pretty well protected setup. Um, with that stove, you really also need to really know how to do your, you know, cooking. Um, it takes a, takes a little bit more time to set it up and understand how it works. My mom has always cooked with woks, so you know, working on a, a scottle like that would be like no problem for her. And you know, it's nice because you can, you know, what John had pointed out, you heat up the food, you know, get everything nice and hot in the middle, slide it off to the sides, which is really great. Um, clearly they both have their uh, pros and cons and overall size. The Timbo Tusk is, you know, have long poles that will collapse down. You also have a flat walk, which, you know, depending on where you're putting it in your rig, you know, there's always a place that you can kind of sit in on top and the poles are just something you put in like a bag. Uh, both those units are, you know, well over $300. So definitely, um, 
you know, it's maybe something that would fit a specific type of application or a specific type of need. But there's plenty of types of stoves out there, and we just wanted to share two of them with you. So we just want to thank you for taking the time to check out this video, and we look forward to seeing you on the uh, next adventure in the next video. All right, take care. <laughs> All right, guys, that's a wrap. That's a BLT wrap, Caesar wrap, peanut butter and jelly wrap, tuna wrap. Did I miss any? No, but seriously, if you guys have a favorite way to cook when you camp, maybe drop a comment below and let us know because we're really interested in what other people use to do their cooking. So we hope you enjoyed the video and I was kind of on a roll. I was on a pretzel roll, I was on a Kaiser roll, I was on a hamburger roll. Okay, I'll stop now. Bye. Please say you were recording. If you'd like to support our channel, take the moment to check out outofficecamping.com where you'll find all kinds of merch. Also, you'll find product links in the description below. Thank you again for your support.